senior netminder with her last home start of her career. This Big South opening lineups brought to you by Sunbelt Reynolds. We have equipment for that. And with the whistle, we are underway. Booted deep, scooped by Vance. I think. Tipped into the midfield. This is where Campbell excels in getting the overload onto the left side. Sliding in and taken away by Doan. Good nifty touch. It's pushed up the pitch, but held in by Campbell. Campbell first to the loose ball. Asheville challenging in the midfield. The pass deflected. Oh, what a brilliant first touch. Campbell on the ground, down the side. And it's going to be ushered out well by Doan. What a brilliant first touch on the far sideline by the Camels. You have that sort of quality all throughout the pitch. There's senior net mile minder, the Rock from Rome, Georgia. Bronwyn Ludweiler, 10th all-time in saves. Four seniors honored in a pregame festivity. Olivia Lenderman, Sarah Langill, Bronwyn Ludweiler, and number three, Lindy Clark. 115 career saves for Ludweiler. That was a weird looking throw. I don't think it was illegal, it was just weird looking. It's out for a Campbell throw near sideline. With space, a bit too far advanced for Jessica Donald, the senior out of Tully, New York. Nashville with the throw, Cena Anger. A young Bulldogs team with a couple of seniors mixed in. Nashville looping one forward, trying to change the point of attack. Campbell scooting onto the ball. Wedged away in midfield, but Campbell's strength on full display. Ball spread out wide. That's going to be close. It'll be tackled out at the vital moment by Bjorkman Tracy. It'll be a Campbell throw far sideline. Campbell looks favored. An undefeated run. 11 match unbeaten streak. That's out for a Campbell throw, but a flag up on the near sideline. A Campbell spotted it in an offside position. It'll be a free kick for the Bulldogs. Clark, the Coastal Carolina transfer, has spent three seasons with the Bulldogs. There she is, not in the ball forward. Anger trying to get a piece of the ball. Good speed shown, and it's deflected out. It'll be a Campbell throw near sideline. Ludweiler, a five-year contributor for the Bulldogs. You know what they say, four times the charm on the throw, and there we go. Knotted up, out, it'll be another Campbell throw. This one taking much quicker. Through the contact, strength shown brilliantly. The curling ball towards the top of the six, just dispersed by the Bulldog back line. It's out for a throw deep in Asheville territory. Olivia Linderman, a Local player calls Asheville her home. Logged over 1,600 minutes for the Bulldogs. Olivia Lenderman graduating with a degree in health and wellness promotion in Spanish. Plans to hopefully teach English in Madrid after graduation.
Boy, health promotion. Certainly in an environment where we could probably stand to listen to some ideas about health promotion. I, c I could stand to eat an apple. And before we start talking about, hey, that's not what public health is. I know. My, my wife's got a doctorate in public health. She hates that joke, too. So you're right. Fair enough. Five minutes gone in the contest. Back and forth, balance of play favoring Campbell, but only just. Both teams still trying to feel each other out. Good bit of strength by Campbell on the far sideline. Held well by Liston. Norgren. Asheville first to the loose ball, slid forward. Switched outside from Mihailovic. She is going to be swarmed by the Camels as Asheville looking to solidify possession. Doan looking forward, plays it on the ground. Good one touch, looked up. Schlitter working to her left, invites anger. Out wide. Clark, the cross, but a flag up on the far sideline as Clark one step too early on a run. Sarah Langell, four-year member of the women's soccer team. She's been in 30 matches, including seven starts. Also played over 900 minutes during her time at Asheville. She's got a major of applied mathematics and a minor in atmospheric sciences. Good bit of solidifying possession by Schlitter passed back across the back line for the Bulldogs. Doan looking up, trying to lob one for Mihailovic. That was Boyd who was targeted. It'll be out for an Asheville throw. Looking for Mihailovic. Flipped off of a camel. Another Asheville throw. Here's Bjorkman Tracy over to take. And the throw missing out on Kaya Boyd. Good bit of strength shown from Shea Hassig, who's been a star on this back line for the Bulldogs. The freshman out of Fuquay Verena has been brilliant this season at times. And other times, just fantastic. For a freshman defender to come into the league and to play as competently and well as Hassig has this season, the ball curling as Hassig making me look knowledgeable about the sport by playing that perfectly. Off the sideline, Boyd trying to settle. Rolls for Asina Anger. Anger looks up, crossing it back across her body. Left low, Schlitter, one touch, flipping it up. Dangerous spot flipped on, and it's in the back of the net. Flag down, Bulldogs take a 1-0 lead. What a fantastic Bit of play by the Bulldogs, and it's going to be Lindy Clark on senior day. Tallies once more for her team. Asheville up 1-0. Anger cutting the ball brilliantly well. Here's the bit of play. And oh, how did she bend her run? Clark doing it brilliantly, just holding onto the line. Richards had set, cutting across the face of goal and a little flick into the back of the net. It's brilliance from the Bulldogs and a stunner as Campbell finds themselves down by a score of 1-0. A dream start for the Bulldogs who have looked, have let Campbell have the balance of possession but haven't given Campbell possession in any dangerous, really dangerous areas as of yet. A couple of incisive crosses into dangerous areas but Bulldogs always had an answer and now it's going to be the Camels looking to have a quick answer all the way back for Lutweiler who blasts it out of 
play. Check that, it's held in on the far sideline by Camel. Yorkman Tracy rolls it up. Good turn. Boyd rolled it outside for Clark. It'll trickle out for a goal kick. Andy Clark, the fourth senior. In her career, now two goals, two assists. Came into today with one goal, has doubled her career total. Really as a box-to-box a, a -box midfielder, a whole, a, a sort of a, somebody who gets the ball into the attacking third and then makes the right play and the decisions to get you in a, a good attacking position. The fact that Clark has two goals is pretty spectacular. And that last one was brilliant in how she bent her run. It's so easy to step into an offside position on a play like that. The assist will go to Soldig Schlitter, the freshman out of Germany. Still loose in the box, crossed. A dangerous spot, as I had just said, Campbell hadn't gotten the ball into any dangerous spots. They went ahead and got the ball into a dangerous spot. Good possession, a pull of the arm. It'll be a free kick for Campbell. Schlitter got spun around by Olivia Neal, the junior out of Wake Forest, North Carolina, Heritage High School player. The ball lofted in, dangerous looking ball. Lutweiler has it lost, it's still loose on the ground. It's in her legs. No, it's still loose and it's taken away by Bjorkman Tracy, rolled out. Nervy moments, but the Bulldogs have done enough. Curling ball, looking back post. No camels there. That's rolled out. It'll be a Campbell throw. Taken quickly towards the edge of the box. And lost footing, tripping. It'll be out for a throw. Looked like a coming together. The official, I think, saw it as I saw it. Take another look at this mayhem in the box. Initially, Lutweiler tries to punch it away. Has her hands on it, and it's kicked out twice. Typically don't see that from a, a goalkeeper. Usually you'll see a whistle back post. Knocked down Lutweiler again. On the ground, gets the save. The second time blasted away. The shot from distance rising above the bar. As Donald took a crack. Nervy moments for the senior netminder, but she's kept the clean sheet. Nashville's back line supporting their goalkeeper brilliantly. Through the first 12 minutes, Schlitter trying to turn. More strength shown. Be ushered out well by Neal. It'll be a Campbell throw. Neal plays with a ton of strength down that right side. More pump fakes than I think I've ever seen in a not basketball game. I will say that. Played out another Campbell throw. Rolled back, here's Neal. Neal looking for options, cutting towards the box. Tries to leave it out. Still loose. The cross low towards the six. Hassig pops it out of play. Asheville starting to get on the back foot as far as trying to keep Campbell out of their defensive third. And it's a tough task with lots of space. One touch, look up, the shot deflected. Still loose, top of the box. Settled briefly by Bioto. With space, the cross coming in. Deflected by Doan. It'll be out for a corner. The first corner kick of the game. I thought Bioto's taking that shot. It was a good job by the Bulldogs defense to close out. Yeah. 
And a meeting, conference meeting, at the penalty spot broken up and knotted away at the top of the six. Mihailovic, the first to the ball, looking up. Slides it wide for Schlitter. Cuts it back, infield. And a good play taken away very well by Bombic. Here comes Campbell again after a brief spell of the pressure Campbell had been piling on the Bulldogs. Good cross field pass. Runners bombing forward. There's Neal. Takes it well. Looks up. Cutting towards the end line. The cross towards the sixth. Weiler through. Good run down the right side by the junior, Neal. The cross perhaps a bit too close. Wanted to get around the outside of that ball just a touch more, pull it back a touch more towards the six. Oh, that's over the top, and that's a dangerous ball. Doan gets a foot on, looks up, and that was a vital tackle if she doesn't get that right. The official pointing at the spot. It's been an eventful 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Taken away, Boyd spins away from the double team. Good solidification of possession. Clipped over the top. No Bulldogs in the vicinity. Neal trying to play it forward. Does so brilliantly. Pass it gambled, did get back. One touch, turning, looking, the shot, deflecting. And that'll trickle out over the end line. It'll be a corner kick for the Camels. The pressure starting to mount on the Bulldogs. Nova Vieski doing a fantastic job of inviting Donald into the play, the shot. Here's a curling ball in swinging, punched up by Ludweiler still loose towards the penalty spot. Knotted out, not out of trouble yet. Here's Norgren crossing back at the six and Campbell equalizes. A thumping header finds its way past Ludweiler and we're tied at one. Norgren, to my eyes, had the header. No, Norgren with the Brilliantly curling ball and a thumping header back post. That's Laney Peabody, the senior defender out of Solana Beach, California. You don't see a lot of defenders. Well, I guess you do see a lot of defenders that are love to get in the box and love headers, but that an absolute thumper. We're back underway, tied at one. Nashville on the ground, clipped up. Knotted down, Mihailovic the first there. Asheville looking forward, rolling it out wide, clipped in. Trying to find the run of Clark, and who slips down, will be out for an Asheville throw. Boyd. Trying to spin, it's taken out, it'll be a Campbell ball. Campbell throw, far sideline, tied at one. It's been a fun 17 and change minutes. All the way back for Ludweiler. Here's Anger. 
Her pass stolen away. Campbell looking to attack quickly on the counter. Wide, curling ball scooped by Lutweiler. Had to get it right, did get it right. Laney Peabody with a defender's goal in the 17th minute off of a brilliant curling ball from Jessica, excuse me, from Cassie Norgren, the junior out of Panther Creek High School. Schlitter showing some strength, clipped out. It'll be an Asheville throw on the near sideline. Solid crowd for senior day. A handball spotted. It's whistled on Lindy Clark. It'll be a free kick for the Camels. Baumbeck standing over the kick. Lifts it near sideline. Not it down. Good turn. Has a step. Looking up. Tries to slide one towards the top of the box. The shot curling, rising. Dipping over the bar, it'll be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. That's a lot of time on the ball. Got a, just a good touch to get that yard of space. Popped up by Mihailovic. Campbell able to solidify. Looking up, continuing the run. The shot from distance, Lutweiler. Able to contain it, scoops it up. High boot down the center of the pitch. Pushed wide, boy. Cuts it in field, leaves it for Mihailovic. Turning, clipped from distance, held in. Really the first significant action by Vance, other than the goal allowance. She's faced one shot, and that was at goal in the 12th minute. Let's it bounce. Oh, nice move. Boyd has some space. Bulldogs not really coming in numbers into the box. She took it herself, a shot from distance, and it's Vance's first save of the game. has it looking up Schlitter good turn the shot from distance curling didn't get the curl that she wanted to on it trying to have it tuck into that far post a good look from Schlitter she had Brooklyn sides who's got a couple absolutely brilliant goals on the season as an option to her left, but I think that's a good shot from there. Sides, I don't think she had any more space, maybe a slightly better angle, but that was a good look from Schlitter. And not far off. With space to run, it's Neal. That space closed down. Clipped into the box. And it's played out for a throw. Nifty touch by the fan. Gets it right back to Campbell. Towards the edge of the box. Deflected away only momentarily. Flag up on the near sideline. As Jessica Donald did not follow Asheville's defensive line. Spotted in an offside position. It'll be a free kick for the Bulldogs. The 
Here's Campbell near sideline. Loose top of the box. Mihailovic gets a tackle in. Asheville, the first to it. Schlitter carrying it forward. Through the middle of the pitch, tries to hit a curling ball, but deflected by Campbell, and here they come the other way. Anger plays it for Hassig, lets it go all the way back for Lutweiler. Edson. Good take, tipped, loose. It's clipped away. It'll be a corner kick for the Camels. Twenty minutes left to go in the opening stanza. Punches it still loose, top of the box deflected, yeah. not away. A curling left footed ball popped up, still top of the box, settled. A lot of contact in the box, waved off by the official. And that's knotted. Did it get out of play? No. Yes, says the official. It'll be a throw for Asheville. Yeah. Is it a throw or is it a kick? Substitutions in the offing for the Bulldogs. That'll bring the introduction as uh, Jasmine Berry, the defender out of Brisbane, Australia, into the matchup. Bombic standing over the free kick. Not it forward. Helped on by Doan. It's high. And Schlitter giving chase. Good, solid play from Neal. Keeps possession. Tackled away. By sides, Asheville regaining possession. Edson tries to tackle it away, held well. Here comes Campbell, looking to move quickly into the attacking third. Now drops it back, and will hold possession a bit. Talk to assistant coach Bella Iorio before the matchup today and said you can't really bunker in against a team as good as Campbell because they'll definitely make you pay. So we want to make sure we are getting out there in the attack. Play on, says the official, and now no advantage has shown itself. It'll be a free kick for the Bulldogs. Handled well, wanted to see if an advantage would materialize when none did, called the play back. Well done. Doan placing the free kick. And queuing up at the top of the box. Clipped in. Pretty far out. Adventures goalkeeping still loose. Asheville begging for a handball. 
And I'll be honest, I don't see either of the officials willing to give it. It'll be out for a throw. I'd love to see that again. The ball comes in. Comes for it. Lost. Knees. Kicked up. In an unnatural position, that is a stone-cold penalty, and it's absolutely missed by the assistant referee. That's beyond unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Wow. Campbell, sometimes you'll you'll take the luck when you can get it. It's out for a Campbell throw on the far sideline. A Campbell team that is certainly brilliant enough to get it done without the luck. But you'll take it when you can get it for sure. Good strength shown by Doan out for a goal kick. Yeah, if the assistant referee is holding the line, that's one he sees. My goodness. Dortmund Tracy, good one touch and a pass too far ahead of her target. It'll be out of bounds for a Campbell throw. More substitutions for the Bulldogs. Here comes Campbell charging in. Lubieski had it. Here comes Asheville, the pass, trying to find Boyd. Barry didn't get it quite right. Good play down the sideline. Donald, the cross, chested down. And with a lot of time, booted out for a Campbell throw. Hasek maybe had more time than she thought. Only the four pump fakes this time. Clipped on. Asheville able to get some relief from the pressure. Sprinting up the sideline. Cheney throwing off her strength. My goodness. That was a fantastic display of strength and agility from Cheney working down the sideline. Flipped out, Asheville throw. Barry to throw it in. Looking for Cheney again. Tipped away, Barry first to it. And here comes Campbell up the sideline. Barry having to sprint back to get into position. But a miscommunication and it's blasted forward. Into the middle of the pitch, only Campbell favored to get to it. Mihailovic challenging from behind. Oh, misplayed by Bjorkman Tracy. Maybe that was the plan. It's out for an Asheville throw. If it is, man, it, I see why it fooled the, the, uh, the Camel player because it fooled me as well. That pass high. Edson couldn't handle it. Bjorkman Tracy tries to leave it again for Edson. Again taken away. A shot blocked by the... Junior, that'll scamper through all the way for Ludweiler with 12 minutes left to go. This is going to sound crazy. Asheville will feel disappointed that they're not up 2-1. Bounding ball, Kelly gives chase. Tips it forward, blasted away by the Campbell back line. Asheville nodding it back into the center of the pitch. Settled well. Edson plays it wide. This is a team that is only losing four seniors. Good 
bit of interplay from the Bulldogs. Edson pushes it wide. Here's Bjorkman Tracy back for Edson. Mihailovic. Back for Doan, who boots it forward. Nodded away. It'll be an Asheville throw, far sideline. Hold up as more substitutions being made. It looks like at least one by each team. It'll be the introduction of Taylor Gardner, sophomore out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, for the Bulldogs. Mihailovic giving chase. Heavy contact and calling for a trainer immediately as Mihailovic down in a pile. It was contact with the head and that's why they call it so quickly. Mihailovic to her feet, holding perhaps her mouth, perhaps her face. Well, definitely her face, but maybe a nose, maybe a mouth. We'll take another look, see what we see. Caught an elbow on the way through. Inadvertent, certainly. Still unfortunate for Mihailovic. Unfortunate for the Bulldogs, as they'll likely have to make a change. A good 20 minutes uh, spell shift put in by Anger. And Schlitter out as well. As Cheney on in her stead. Still waiting to see the substitutions made for Campbell. It'll essentially be a dropped ball. And we'll get it back underway. There you see second year head coach Andy McNabb shouting out instructions in the background. Campbell nips it forward, brilliantly done. Eyes up. Gets around, Bjorkman Tracy gets into the box. It's deflected by Doan. And queuing up again in the box will be Campbell corner kick. Bailey Humbert over to take for the Camels. Humbert, the end swinging right footed attempt. Popped up, Lutweiler reads it, scoops it. Booted deep down the center of the pitch. Trying to find Gardner, but it only finds a Campbell foot. Pushed wide, Campbell looking to take the lead before the halftime break. Good run from Neal, continuing that run. Showing her strength around the outside. And it's nipped in by Sides, who puts it out for a corner to stop the advance of Neal. Kazi Norgren over to take it. It'll be an end swinging left footed attempt. Low curling. Lutweiler punches at it. A foul spotted eventually. Take another look from a slightly different angle. Yeah, it kind of had the feel that Laney Peabody 
came through and maybe caught a couple of people on the way. I mean, honest attempt at the ball. If if you're going up for a header, you're not exactly aware of anybody around you. So I, it's completely understandable, but still a foul. Good possession shown by Campbell, pushed wide again. Loose top of the box, trying to sort out the feet. Left off, here's Neal, clipping one. Scores flying up, and good strength shown by Doan. Novoviesky causing some problems in the box for the Bulldogs. Chaney leaves it off. Nashville holding possession. A ball through the middle of the pitch. Only favors Campbell. There's not enough put on it. That ball trickles out. It'll be a Nashville throw. Jackie Richards advancing down the left sideline. Just couldn't sort her feet out to get in the way of the pass. Jorgman Tracy clips it off a camel and out of bounds. Throw in for the Bulldogs. Taken well and quickly. It'll be out for an Asheville throw far sideline. Check that. It'll be a camel throw. Tierney out for the camels. Backland the forward also in. It'll be Neal come moving over to the left side to take the throw. Long run from Bjorkman Tracy, who doesn't get there in time. The shot from distance, chested down by the Bulldogs, looking up, curling one. That one's going to scamper wide, but it's a deflection, and it'll be a corner kick for the Camels. Curling ball, center of the box, Lutweiler, true. Scoops it up cleanly, and with five and a half left to go in the first half, we're all tied at one. It's the rare game where both teams are going to feel unlucky to not have the lead, which means it's probably about fair. Janey nods it back towards the goal. Edson. Flips it back from the back line. Hassig. Ooh, a bad pass. This is dangerous now. Doan coming over, trying to get in the way. It's clipped over. One step, the shot. Lutweiler, oh my goodness. Lutweiler at full stretch pushes it beyond the far post. As good of a goal, and that is as good of a save as you will see. A brilliant one-touch shot, curling ball towards the far post as Backlund, the sophomore out of Gilbert, Arizona, has to feel robbed as Lutweiler's strong hand pushing it just beyond the post. In swinging, right-footed ball low near post, tries to flip it on. That only just held in. Oh, it'll trickle out for an Asheville throw. Four minutes left to go in this contest. Off the foot from Backland, I thought goal. I thought it was high enough quality that it should be a goal. Usually you know it when you see it. You saw that and you're like, oh, what? that's so well struck. That's going to be a goal. Clipped in, back post, flipped up, still loose. The shot low. I couldn't see what happened. Judging by Campbell, I'm guessing it's a goal. 
Novovieski strikes a left-footed shot. It's low into the near post. And Campbell leads 2-1. to one. That ball curling away from Ludweiler. I think maybe she misestimated how much bend that ball had on it. 2-1 Campbell, 340 left to go in the first. Played out, Asheville throw, far sideline. Nova Vieski, a tricky left-footed curling ball, has broken the deadlock with just three minutes left to go in the half. Good press by Asheville. Bringing it back in field. Looking up, looking for options. Asheville. Doan leaves it behind. He's tackled from behind. A foul spotted. And that was a high cleat as Doan showing off the scar. And typically, if you see a studs up tackle like that, you'll usually see a yellow card following. Knotted down. Campbell the first onto the loose ball. That's pushed wide. Good bit of possession. Here's Neal. Down the sideline. Asheville seizing on it. 120 seconds left to go in the first half. This has been better from Asheville over the past minute, minute and a half. Good ball out wide, tries to turn. It'll be an Asheville throw. 90 seconds and change left to go. My goodness, with all the contact that's happened, that's the foul. The official buying a pressure release valve for the Camels. And they'll take it. 60 seconds left to go in this contest. Oh, this half of the contest, you know what I meant. Alan, good point. Pushed wide, a just a bit too far. It'll be out for a Campbell throw with about 40 seconds left. And substitutions awaiting on the far sideline. It'll be your goal scorer, Lobovieski, giving way for Holsey. the way in the middle of the pitch. With six seconds left, Asheville just plays it out and is content to go into the locker room. They're certainly not content as Campbell leads by a score of two to one. We'll be back with your halftime show after this short break. Thanks of William and Mary, James Madison. Other people whose names I can't think of. And maybe schools that aren't names. We'll see. Richmond, maybe? I don't remember. 2-1 Campbell over UNC Asheville with 45 minutes left to go. We're back underway. That ball looped deep and out for an Asheville throw.
And nodded out by Asheville. It'll be a Campbell throw on the far sideline. Trotting down to take the throw. Jamison. Natalie Jamison introduced about a couple of moments before halftime. That ball spilled. Lutweiler, oh, and it saved off the line. Brilliant job by Asheville's defense. Pushed wide. Campbell threatening. A ball low towards the top of the box. Oh, it's trickling on the goal line and somehow kept out. It'll be a goal kick, and my goodness. Asheville living dangerously in the first 90 seconds of the second half. It felt like 90 seconds. It was only 60. That's how much happened. Did Lou Weiler get a piece of that to force it onto the crossbar or onto the, the post? I didn't see it well enough. But Campbell looking to come out and put this match away early. Boyd dancing through traffic. Well done and fantastic ball control by the junior. Good turn. Clark, your goal scorer for the Bulldogs, leaves it off. Boyd, again, fantastic ball control and congested area. Rolls it out wide. Good touch by Schlitter, trying to push it out and just not on the same page as Mihailovic. Doan looping one. As Boyd bailed out last moment. Edson played it down. Sides giving chase. Down the far sideline. Lost out Asheville throw. Ford Campbell. One of the things that Campbell does the best is their shaping and spacing and the way that they position themselves to where they're usually favored to get to that second ball. A jostle from Mihailovic at the vital moment pushes it out. It'll be an actual throw on the far sideline. The shoulder to shoulder contact ruled a fair challenge by the official. Clipped up, out, it'll be a Campbell throw, far sideline. Looking to put Asheville under more pressure. Stolen away, held in, and out for an Asheville throw. Natalie Jamison, the freshman out of Yorba Linda, California. That's fun to say. Thought she'd done enough to get the contact. It's out for a Campbell throw. Flipped down the sideline. With space, Liston curls one in the header. By Richard is unable to redirect it on target. It'll be out for a goal kick. Luke Weiler blasts it down the center of the pitch. Mihailovic finds Boyd. Boyd, oh, the ball control from Boyd is brilliant. Doan from the back line. Marauding forward. Played behind Schlitter. Good one touch, looking up. A ball in behind. It's a big ask of Mihailovic who gets to the end of it. Can't curl it around. It's played out. It'll be an Asheville corner kick. A fantastic run from Mihailovic to get onto the end of it. Mihailovic over, places the ball. It'll be an outswinging right footed kick. For the Cumberland, Maryland junior, excuse me, freshman. Low, near post. Popped up. Will be out for an Asheville throw. Taken quickly. Mihailovic settles it well. Has it taken off of her shoelaces. 
Heavy touch from Clark. That will be out for a Campbell throw. Fantastic job shielding the ball by Richards. Who settles it very quickly and very well. Pushed wide. Here comes Campbell back the other direction. Sides giving chase. Stop to end well. Angers pass. Good one touch passing through the midfield for Asheville. Mihailovic brings in Bjorkman Tracy. Flips forward. Bjorkman Tracy making a more central run instead of towards the goal. The miscommunication is a turnover in play. Mihailovic has settled into that spot that Bjorkman Tracy. Yeah, evacuated it when she went on a run forward. As Asheville covering well defensively. Yeah, that I fixed and then it got crooked again. Here they've switched back with the ball out of play. Oh, here comes a fantastic run. Richards looking up. Onto her left foot. Doan shielding her off well enough. Dortmund Tracy just ushers it out into touch. It'll be a Campbell throw. Deep into the box, bounding ball. Lutweiler comes, scoops. 38 minutes left. Campbell still leads by one. A curling ball over the head of Schlitter, settled by Asheville. Edson looking for Mihailovic, tries to nod it forward. Mihailovic tackles it out. It'll be a Campbell throw. Oh, what a nifty flick. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Richards. Oh, that is fantastic from Richards, who looks up, takes a shot from distance. Didn't get the curl on it. It'll be a goal kick, but my goodness. That was a moment of brilliance from Richards down the near sideline. The shot, good punch save by Rubin. Well done. Our graphics guru, Rubin, able to, to get a hand on the ball. Here comes Campbell threatening again. The shot low. Lutweiler diving to her left. The stop, the shot again low. Lutweiler a kick save. The third shot coming in, and it falls harmlessly after a deflection. Out over the end line, it'll be a corner for Campbell. To call the last minute threatening is an understatement. And for the Bulldogs, down, down. The official checking on down. Official helps Doan to her feet. Doan re not requiring a visit from the trainer. And a heavy challenge from Doan. And both players much the worse for wear after. It'll be a Campbell corner kick. Th these have been dangerous. As they've done a fantastic job of forcing Lutweiler into making a choice to come and punch. Occasionally come and grab. Or to stay back and defend the line. And Doan back on the ground does require the trainers to come out and take a look. And this would be a, a tough loss for a Bulldogs team. As Doan has been brilliant forward looking brave on tackles. The sophomore out of Jackson, Michigan, now going through the mobility tests on the right leg. A 
I'll tell you a secret. They don't let you walk off on your own power if they think you're significantly hurt or in risk of doing something else to yourself. But Doan will be off unless there's a substitution right now for this corner kick. Doan has cleared the sideline. Bulldog slowly trickling back into the box. As is Campbell. It'll be Amber Liston, the senior midfielder, over. And in the swinging right footed delivery. Six saves on the night for Lutweiler. Ball curling, back post, popped up by Asheville, helped on by Mihailovic. And it'll be pushed all the way back. Clipped in towards the top of the box. Only black jerseys near the header, but Asheville able to get to the loose ball played on the ground. Asheville seizing onto it. Here comes Asheville in transition. Ball pushed wide. Back of the way by Campbell. Now Campbell the favorite to get to this ball. Good move. The shot blocked. Lutweiler catches a heavy spinning ball cleanly. As Novovieski again getting into a dangerous area and unleashing a shot that well deflected. She's been the, the thorn on the Bulldogs' side in this matchup. Mihailovic took a elbow to the face. No call spotted. I don't think it was an intentional elbow, but I don't see how that's not a foul. Held in by Campbell. And the pressure starting to mount on the Bulldogs. Tackled away by, was that Olivia Linderman into the matchup? Wearing the captain's armband. Linderman playing on that back line. Towards the top of the box. Trying to settle, has some space. A curling ball that neither curled nor dipped enough. I love the idea. It's a very difficult skill to get just right, and you have to get it just right. If, you, if you're not directly over the ball on the contact, if you're leaning back at all, you get that lift. You don't get that bend. Eleven minutes into the second half, 2-1 still. Campbell knocking on the door of a third, a handball. They don't, that's not a penalty anymore. Play on, says the official. It's all a bit silly. A foul spotted on Asheville. It'll be Peabody. A thumping header to tie up the score at 1-1. The out Asheville throw. I'll tell you, Lenderman's come on for Doan and done a solid job. It's only been a couple of minutes, but... Asheville down the far sideline. A ball deflected. Held in well. Here's Jamison. That pass deflected, but right into the path of 
maybe one of the most dangerous players on the fetch, Bioto. Taking off of her shoelaces, a fantastic deflection at a vital moment for Campbell. That ball played up. That's a lot of space. A ball played towards the top of the box. Knee down, ushered away by Asheville. It'll trickle out over touch. It'll be a Campbell throw. Another dangerous moment that the Bulldogs have navigated. It'll be Richards who had that brilliant flick earlier in the half on for the throw. Substitutions in the offing. Back in is Jessica Donald taking the place of Kaylee Backlund. Thirty-one and change left to go in the contest. Tackled away. It'll be an Asheville throw. Check that. It'll be a Campbell throw. Check that. It'll be an Asheville throw. That's the little boy. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> what are we doing with that Mountain Dew down there, my man? Is he shotgunning a Mountain Dew? Oh, no. What on earth? The curling ball nodded away. The shot curling away and deflected by the Bulldogs, held then by Campbell towards the top of the box. Mihailovic will settle it and is tackled away strongly by Richards. Richards gets it back. Advantage played. And now the foul brought back as no advantage materialized. Mihailovic coming in late on the challenge. And it's a free kick for Campbell in a fairly dangerous location. It'll be Tierney, a redshirt senior out of Villa Hills, Kentucky, to put it in. It'll be a left-footed effort on its way. Curling top of the box. Popped up. And a quick stoppage of play. As Scythes down to one knee, she's up to her feet. And the official insisting the trainers take a look because of the contact to the head. for a word on whether that was a card that was just shown. He's certainly taking copious notes. It'll be a dropped ball. Hassig over to take the dropped ball. And that ball taken away. Dangerous spot. Tipped off of the shoelaces, trying to find some space. Nova Vieski passing it in. The shot trickling past the far post. It'll be out for a... Well, it's off of Campbell for a corner. Yeah, that ball touches absolutely no one on the way through. It'll be out for a corner nonetheless. A fantastic cross, a dangerous cross, looking for a back post run that was maybe a step off. More substitutions for the Camels. Sides out, McFarlane in for the Bulldogs. 
Here's the end swinging corner from Liston. 19 shots on the night from the Camels. Curling ball near post. Luke Weiler answers the call. A solid save from Lude Weiler. The six foot senior. Take another look. Just punches it wide. Second offering from Liston on the way. High looking back post. Up above everyone, Lutweiler catches it cleanly. And much like a Toyota dealership, Lutweiler's night is turning into a save-a-thon. Foul spotted on Campbell. It'll be a free kick for the Bulldogs, placed by Hassig. Lifted ball, looking towards a penalty spot, not a down, dangerous spot, clipped on. Pushed away, and yet another stoppage of play as this time it's Boyd down in a heap in the box. Check that, Boyd is standing right there. The official asking for the trainers. And it is Lindy Clark, your goal scorer for the Bulldogs on her senior night that's slow to her feet. Certainly a lot of head injuries for the Bulldogs. And I think at some point, as an official, you may want to look at that. Again, it was an off arm. Again, it was unintentional. Again, that's the fourth time that an unintentional off arm has caused a stoppage of play for a trainer to come on and have a look for contact with the head. I think at some point as an official, you need to take control of that. Knotted up by Mihailovic. Schlitter has it taken away. Mihailovic able to get a foot onto it. Yorkman Tracy plays it wide. Schlitter tries to push it towards the sideline, saves it in. Taken off of the ball. Fairly rules the official. Good turn from Campbell, looking up, clipped from distance. Lutweiler, another spectacular save, pushing it beyond the far post. Lutweiler, brilliant save. And substitutions in the offing. Clark back on. Look at this brilliant shot. A curling left-footed effort from distance and Lutweiler, strong fingertips pushing it wide. The Rock from Rome's ninth save of the night. Season high of eight against saves against Western Carolina has been eclipsed. A foul spotted. It's whistled on Campbell. A 
with 25 minutes, it's still two to one. Distribution held in on the far sideline by the Bulldogs. Across the back line. There's a lot to do for Bjorkman Tracy. She did it well. Clark pushes it wide. Good move down the far sideline. Some targets in the box. It's kicked away brilliantly by the Campbell defense. Nashville trying to hold it in, trying to put some pressure on this Campbell team. Boyd, a tough one to bring down. Bjorkman Tracy sprinting back. We'll play it back for Hassig. Lutweiler trying to lift it for Bjorkman Tracy. Brings it down very well. Mihailovic flips it on, but Campbell read the intentions. Mihailovic steals it back. Good bit of possession down the near sideline. Tackled away. And a foul spotted. It'll be whistled on Humbert. Twenty-four minutes left. Flipped over the top. Played out. It'll be an Asheville throw far sideline. The last minute and a half. A better spell from the Bulldogs. Schlitter holding it in on the sideline. Clipped in. Will be scooped cleanly by Vance. A freshman goldminder from Fairfax, Virginia. Tracy nods it up, Mihailovic. Nifty flick from Mihailovic. Fantastic ball control shown by the freshman. It'll be played back to Ludweiler. Ludweiler, Yorkman Tracy flips it forward for Mihailovic. Good possession. Yorkman Tracy tries to run it down the line. Clipped out, it'll be an Asheville throw near sideline. Ludweiler with six more saves tonight will be ninth all time in the program history. I think she'd be okay with being 10th if she didn't have to make any more saves, I, I believe, but I don't want to speak for the goalkeeper. Good ball over the top, looking for Mihailovic. It's a foot race, and it's going to be Campbell who wins it. Mihailovic. Good pressure, and it's played down the sideline. Yorkman Tracy holding it in. It'll be played out for an Asheville throw. Well, that's a bit of insanity. And we all saw... The ball go off of Campbell and out of bounds. Boy, Asheville cannot buy a break tonight. Tipped away. Edson is giving chase. It's pushed all the way to the back line. Now Campbell looking to reload down the far sideline. Lenderman giving chase.
Good defense from Lenderman strips it away. Has some space down the far sideline. The senior pushing it, trying to find Boyd. Does what a fantastic pass from the senior. Okay, a Boyd continuing the run. Clips it out. It'll be a corner for the Bulldogs. Lenderman finding Boyd, who is well ahead of the play. The best she could have hoped for. Good bit of movement from Donald, but Lenderman not committing to the challenge. Brilliant defense from the senior. Substitutions in the offing for the Camels. And the Bulldogs as well as Clark coming off, giving way for Cheney. Daisha Cheney listed as a midfielder. I have her as a forward. It'll be Mihailovic. An end swinging right footed effort. Up towards the top of the six. Knotted down, still loose. Flipped up by Edson. Brilliant control out wide. Clark, one touch, looking for space to the top of the box. The shot curling. Oh, it finds the back of the net. It's a touch of brilliance from Boyd. Goodness gracious. Absolute perfection. Curls one around Vance, and we're tied at two. The junior from Cranston, Rhode Island, kisses it off of the far post, and oh, it's just perfection from the top of the box. Two-two with 19 minutes and 16 seconds left to go in this contest. Dortmund Tracy stepping in. There's your goal scorer looking up. Into the run of Cheney. Cheney with the turn. Has some space down the sideline. Looking up. Fell. And it's out for a goal kick. It was a good spell of possession. A good three to four minute period from the Bulldogs. Continuing the pressure after the corner kick. Here's a distribution from Vance. Mihailovic nods it up. Continued forward. Oh, brilliant flick on. It's trouble. Here's Novovieski. Novovieski, the crossover, the shot for a hearse. Bends off the post. The follow up clipped out. It'll be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. Novovieski nearly answering with a brilliant shot and has to feel unlucky. Look, a great touch. Gets just enough space. Oh, off the outside of the post. Inches away from perfection. Novo Vieski has to feel robbed after that fantastic effort. Certainly unlucky. Clark pushes it wide. Lenderman. Pushed forward, trying to find Cheney. <laughs> Piling into the box, tied 2-2. A very important, it'll be an in-swinging, left-footed effort, I'm assuming, out of the far corner. There it is. And that's exactly what it'll be. Play it in. It's floating up towards the penalty spot. Knotted up by Clark. The shot off the post. Still loose off the post and bandied in. Flag up on the near sideline. My goodness, yes, the flag up on the far sideline. Bulldogs have to feel like they've gotten away with one, and now they're on the counterattack. Boyd is through, one touch. Cheney running with her, the shot. Oh, and it's a spectacular save from Vance. 
This is the most fun I've had watching soccer, and I can't remember how long. This is back and forth, and it's brilliant. What a spectacular save from Vance to keep it tied 2-2. 16 minutes left, and we are wide open at Greenwood Field. And it is Novo Vieski who was spotted in an offside position, played it immediately. Kea Boyd out on the run. Novo Vieski helping it out wide. Lenderman giving chase. Good strength shown as Campbell securing the ball. There's slowly working it down the far sideline. Oh, Novo Vieski in acres of space. One touch looking up. Oh, it's pushed. Richards, one touch, looking on the shot, rising, couldn't keep it on target. I am absolutely enjoying this, this matchup. There's the counter attack pushed quickly. Chaney trying to stay onside, and it's a brilliant job defensively, and an even better save from Vance. Goal kick for the Bulldogs after the latest attack had Richards with a shot. And rising just above the crossbar. Popped up. Chaney tries to turn, does turn. Has some space on the side. Held in by Campbell, good strength shown. Flipped forward. Campbell getting a toe in, getting it right back. Oh, Novo Vieski so good on the ball. Good solidifying of possession and the turn. Here comes Campbell out wide. The cross towards the top of the six. It's Donaldson and excuse me, it's Richards, and she puts it in 3-2 Campbell. Boy, it was coming. You couldn't figure out who it was coming for, but somebody was going to score as wide open as this game was, and it was Jackie Richards, the senior out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Fantastic run. Just keeps it coming and gets inside of Bjorkman Tracy and puts it away. Three, two, Campbell with 14.07 left to go in this matchup. Chaney starts us off. Boyd, one goal on the day, the pass from Edson, deflected, oh, here's Campbell on the counterattack, they've got the numbers moving forward, it's four on four. Asheville surging back, and it's a fantastic job by Lenderman, who's pushed it out wide and allowed Asheville's defense to come back in. Mihailovic sliding in for the challenge, it's out for a goal kick. Oh, check that. It'll be out for a corner. Mihailovic getting a piece of the ball. Over to take the corner. Mary Tierney. Ball placed in, swinging left footed corner. Nearly got the third goal on the last corner from this side. Bending it in, back post. Lutweiler punches it up. It'll be from the other side. Under 13 left to go in this contest. It's going to be Amber Liston, the senior, out of Sacramento, California. In swinging right footed service coming. Curling middle of the six, headed away. But it's going to be Backlund, the first to it. Slips down. Here comes Asheville the other way. They've got numbers surging forward. Mihailovic and Cheney leading the chase. Boyd looking up, plays it. 
Too far ahead for Mihailovic. And scooped by Vance. Under, under 13, close to 12 left to go in this contest. Distribution from Vance deep down the center of the pitch. Nodded forward. Chaney, good touch, looking to turn. Does so, gives it right back to Campbell. Nashville able to seize on to the loose touch. Here comes Asheville the other way. Yorkman Tracy in the middle of the pitch. Edson back to the back line. Here's Lenderman with a little bit of space. Lift up towards the center of the pitch. Vance off of her line, scoops it up. Trying to find the run of Lindy Clark. Three, two, Campbell, under 12 left to go in this contest. It has been brilliant. Just entertaining soccer. Absolutely fantastic. Nodded on, Asheville secures loose ball. Looking to find an equalizer. They went up one nothing, gave up two in a row. Off the back line. A long run, and a bit too far for sides. It'll be out for a Campbell throw. Both teams have covered, I'm guessing, in the neighborhood of 13 kilometers, I'm going to guess. Each. Certainly, you'll see that out of the wings. Mihailovic may be up to 15, 16. Novovieski is literally everywhere. I'd put her at 17 kilometers. Here's Neil with the throw. Directly into the path of Donald, looking up. Lenderman trying to show strength on the side. Here's Neil looking up. The cross, dangerous towards the six. will fall harmlessly over the end line for a goal kick. Ten minutes left to go in this contest. And about ten minutes left to go on my voice. Three, two, Campbell in the final ten minutes from Greenwood Field this season. Held in. Hassig wins the foot race, boots it up the sideline. Held in by Campbell. Novovieski, good turn, has some space. Clark trying to force her out. Mihailovic gets it away. Edson pushes it wide. Linderman boots it forward, trying to find the run of Boyd. Will be ushered out for an Asheville throw far sideline. Nine minutes left to go in this contest. Asheville throw far sideline. I would submit this to any committee for most entertaining match of the year when it comes to soccer. And I'm only making it for soccer because I haven't seen the other sports. It's only the fall season clipped back towards the top of the box. Campbell first to it. Taken away by Clark, excuse me, by Boyd. Held in by Edson. Campbell. Looking to hold a bit of possession. There's your Richards. Just a brilliant move around Bjorkman Tracy. Richards marauding forward. Continuing the run. The shot rising. A good 60-yard run from Richards. Look at this. Just oh, what a move from Richards. 
brilliantly done and continuing her run down the down the line. It'll be a distribution from Lutweiler. Substitutions in the offing as Lutweiler's distribution up the center of the pitch nodded forward. It'll be up for Lutweiler to collect. Novovieski would love nothing more than that fourth goal to really put things to bed. Chipped up the sideline. Cheney trying to get onto the end of it. Deflected away. Asheville throw. Check that. It'll be a Campbell throw. In space. Novovieski gets it back. Held in by Novovieski. Clipped off the sideline. Loose touch from Gardner, and it's right back into the attack. Schlitter very deep. It's lost over the end line. It'll be a goal kick. Schlitter tracking all the way back to the end line for Asheville. That's a long run for a number nine to get back up towards the offensive end. Under six minutes left to go. Asheville needs to find a way through this fantastic Campbell defense. Booted up. Out of play. Boyd looking to come back in. Sides out. Mihailovic in. And it'll be Bjorkman Tracy out. Giving way for Kea Boyd. Mihailovic turning with space. Clips knotted down into the path of Cheney. Cheney trying to turn. Recess through Mihailovic. Good chop running wide for Cheney. Clipping it. Easy catch from Vance. Would have been. Would have had to catch it extremely cleanly on that turn from that angle. And under five minutes left to go. <laughs> Popped up. Rolled forward to go all the way back for Lutweiler. <laughs> Officially on the night. Well, it depends on if you ask the score sheet or if you're going to ask the scoreboard in the stadium. Worldwide, Mihailovic pushing forward. Cheney, a loose first touch, out over touch, and it'll be a Campbell throw. Bulldogs cannot afford to give up possession. Clipped back out, Campbell. Happy to take their time moving up the pitch. Booted up, held in by the Bulldogs. Good turn, Gardner. Edson, Mihailovic. Linderman, 31 minutes on her senior night. A fantastic shift from the senior. The fact that it's 3-2 might not make sense if you look at the shots. My goodness. Campbell, 188 minutes or seconds away. From their sixth conference win, Asheville perhaps would feel hard done by given the level of their performance. But looking at stats like the shots, Campbell will feel full value for the win. They've had some brilliant moments, and goodness, they've created a ton of chances. There'll be a Campbell throw in far sideline. 
Coach McNabb asking. Played on. Lenderman tracking the run. Official standing right over it. Marshall finally wedging the ball away. Mihailovic looks up, clips it out. It's off the back of the official, and they'll have to stop play. It'll be an Asheville dropped ball. We're back underway. And the official stopping play again as Nowobieski doing the smart thing. And I'm a bit stunned that. Yeah. The official looking to get things back underway so quickly didn't push Novovieski the required distance away. The ball up the sideline. Blasted away. It'll be trotted back up the sideline by Linderman. Nashville being told to hold the throw in. And now go. Tackle away, Asheville throw. 90 seconds left to go in this contest. Blasted down the pitch. All the way for Lutweiler. Hassig looking to start the ball forward. Boyd, good bit of ball handling, pushed it wide. Oh, it's brilliance from Richards on the defensive side. Clipped up, out of play, Asheville throw near sideline. 67 seconds left to go in this contest. Asheville pushing for the equalizer. Deflected away. Lifted back in. Campbell player lost a shoe. Clipped in, dangerous spot, Boyd, oh, nearly onto it, back post, and that might be the last chance for the Bulldogs with 40 seconds left. A fantastic service from Linderman. Just a bit too far forward for Boyd. The boot situation squared away for Campbell. And with 38 seconds left, the Bulldogs are almost out of time to find an answer. It'll be out of play. Asheville throw approaching 30 seconds left to go in the contest. Passing over quickly. A turn from Clark clipped in. And Campbell gets it away. Blasted out with 18 seconds left. Asheville gets the throw, gets the ball quickly. Lifts it back for Lenderman. Wide for Mihailovic, keeps it in. With nine seconds left, popped up. Top of the box, Boyd nods it down. And that'll trickle out over the end line. That will do it. Campbell takes the last match at Greenwood Field as a member of the Big South Conference by a score of three to two. Boy, you wonder how this match would have turned if the handball had been called with Asheville would have potentially